Okay, so if you had to think about um, what, how we might solve this problem, well, here are some ideas. So I think there are two primary solutions that we could adopt to solve this issue. One option is we could have a dual output to our sentiment analysis. We don't have to have a single output in our neural network. We can have a dual output. And so we could have a dual output so that um, rather than considering reviews as being positive, negative or neutral, we can say that this review is considered both positive and negative. So that's one option. Another option is we can break down the review into the individual aspects within that review. So things like the care from staff the weight at the pharmacy and then analyze the sentiment of these individual aspects instead of the review as a whole and this is a thing within sentiment analysis and it's called aspect level sentiment analysis now both of these approaches are valid and as always with any uh, piece of or data science it really depends on what you're hoping to achieve from this so if we were just um trying to understand what things were good and what things were bad rather than just trying to classify reviews as good or bad, then actually aspect level sentiment analysis may provide a better solution because with, it'll give us that enhanced understanding of a, what, what were people talking positively about? What were people talking negatively about, for example? Now, the key difference, if you're going to be doing aspect level sentiment analysis, is that we need to split our text into different aspects first. Once we've done that, we can then simply analyse the sentiment in the same way we would for any text. So we can apply the same sentiment analysis principles, but the first thing we need to do is break it up into those individual aspects. So what I want you to do now is consider the following paragraph, and I want you to um, write down what you think the individual aspects are in this text. So I'm just going to read you the paragraph. I tried to get through using the supply telephone number first, but nobody answered after 10 minutes, so I gave up. I then decided to go to the station in person, but I was waiting for ages here too. The desk sergeant I eventually spoke to was very rude. When I finally saw an officer, she was incredibly helpful and put my mind at ease. I thought the coffee from their coffee machine was excellent too. Makes a change. So that's a classic example of a review um, of their experience that has both negative and positive aspects to it. So uh, a classic example of our problem. What I want you to do now uh, I want you to write down what you think are the aspects, the different aspects to that review. Spend the next five minutes or so doing that, and then when you're ready, move on to the next video.